this is a video for one of the viewers who want to see how the 87A cycles so starts off the pusher on the bottom raises a round bullet gets pushed into the barrel when it fires as it gets pulled out it gets thrown out like that now possible problems could be first thing is that it's dirty if that's not the case then there's a couple of other things that you might have a problem with first thing check to make sure this is actually there and not broken also your ejector is what you see right there try to get at it for you the little extension that you see on top of the the lips here that little extension there is what pushes the the case out of the actual receiver so if that's damaged or broken it won't eject properly either lastly your two extractors on here check to make sure they're clean that they're moving freely so as I said just check for the number one that it's completely clean and well oiled number two that this is in one piece and all there three that the ejector which is just the extra piece of steel up there is not broken or damaged in any way and that your two extractors are free to move and springy enough and not worn out on the cartridge side where it grabs the rim if you're saying that it doesn't completely eject it's probably going to be one of those if it was a failure to feed I'd be more concentrated around the actual spring and everything on the the lifter and how it works because those are one of the problems people get with it the spring breaks or gets weak enough that it doesn't work properly check to make sure that you're actually firing 22 long rifle in semi-automatic mode because if you're firing any of the other ones it probably won't have enough strength to cycle the action completely so hopefully this has helped hopefully gave you a few ideas on what to check for your gun and if I'm not clear about anything just ask me a question because I know sometimes stuff sounds clear in our heads but for other people it just sounds like rambling so anyways hope you figure out the problem hope it works well for you and just make sure your number one thing with these guns is to make sure that they're clean properly and well oiled after that it shouldn't be that much of a problem unless you've got a broken piece on it